Good morning. I've left Glows Lane. Lovely mooring there. I've spent many a week there. And I'm still heading west along the Trenton Mersey today. The next lock is Stenson Lock. And personally, I think that's the worst lock that I've ever experienced. It is horrible. The ground paddles work the opposite way around. When you're coming down the lock, various bits of the gate don't work. I don't know if that's Canal and River Trust or other boaters, I'm not quite sure. There's a bit of a debate about that. And going up the lock, which I will be going today, it's just a nightmare because it's so powerful and because it's such a deep lock, the rope is really long up to the, the bank and if there's any movement of the boat, the, the rope stretches and it swings the boat across the wide lock and bashes into the wall. And just to make things worse, there's a cafe there and I'm sure they've got some sort of scoreboard on, like a chalkboard on their wall going, yep, there's another one, yep, there's another one. So hopefully I won't do that today. I'll take it nice and easy. Once I ascend the lock at Stenson, I sweep down past Mercia Marina. It's the largest inland marina in Europe, and many wooden cabins surround the various lakes within the 24-acre site. The village of Willington is positioned further along my route and is the last place wide-beam boats can navigate. The Trenton Mersey Canal then turns south, neighbouring the A38 highway down to Burton-upon-Trent. In 1880, there were over 30 breweries based here, producing a quarter of all beer sold in Britain. Then, as the canal turns towards the southwest, it joins the River Trent, passing a strong weir and up into the village of Erewas, where I was due to moor up for the night. Wellington is a great place to stay for a few days. There's a winding hole, water, bins and Elsan here, and in the village itself there's a post office, train station, fish and chip shop and a general store. Right next to the canal are a number of pubs and restaurants and a large free car park where I left my car. I've just untied and pushed the boat out into the canal and just as I was walking back to the stern to untie that end, um, another boat had also pushed out and had already been out into the canal. There's, now there's nothing worse, uh, because it's all single locks from here on, you untying to drive off and someone else sees it and unties and tries to get in front of you. It's not fair, it's not the way to do things. So I bet his, his heart sunk when he saw my nose go out but I've been nice and polite and I've pulled the boat back in and allowing him to go first and I will help him through the locks.
I've just arrived at Dallow Lock. It's just north of the town of Burton and it's a narrow lock which is brilliant because the last couple of months I've been on wide locks. This is a very shallow narrow lock as well so it's extremely fast to fill up and empty especially when it's got a boat in. I must say Molly is extremely good even at locks even when other people and dogs go past she will always stay on the boat and she always sort of looks out either side to keep an eye on where I am but she's very good she'll never get off unless I say so When there's split gates like this lock, um, because the, the jump is only sort of three, three and a bit foot, a lot of people will just jump it. And I don't like doing that. Because all it takes is for me to slip and bang my head and or in the water I fall. Because there is a bit of a fall here. I would say it's sort of four, five foot, four foot. And that could be dangerous, especially when you're on your own. So I always go round. Just as you come around the corner there, there's a real sense of hops in the air. There's a couple of breweries uh, based in the, the town of Burton and it's famous for it because in historic times the water was very, very pure here. But there's a real smell in the air. It sort of smells a bit like warm Weetabix. Now some people will say that's a nice smell and some people will say it's not. But it's always here. It's always really difficult when you get to a bridge at equal distances and there's someone coming in the opposite direction. Normally it's classed as whoever goes through the bridge first um, obviously has it. In my case I've got lots of boats either side and it's a little bit more tricky so um, the guy ahead is, has really nicely given way so that I can get through. If you were travelling north towards Burton and you didn't want to moor up in the actual town itself, say for example you didn't want the noise on a Friday or a Saturday night, I would suggest you moor just after Branston Lock. It's beautiful surroundings and don't be fooled by the, how close the A38 is because it's really, really quiet. <laughs>
just walking through the centre of Branston Water Park. It's a series of different lakes here with lots and lots of wildlife, a lot of different types of bird and lots of vegetation. Now one thing to note, it's okay for Molly to drink out of the cut or her water bowl, which is always on the stern of Alice, but don't let dogs drink out of the lakes here. Um, Molly is dying to, um, especially as the, the banks are quite shallow and she can walk straight down there, but there's some sort of algae in the water that can be dangerous for dogs. So I've got to really keep an eye on her today. You can't swim in this one, I'm afraid. This is the sort of location that Molly would have absolutely loved to swim in. Nice shallow banks, lots of clear water, lots of sticks around. Not today. Bridge number 36 ahead of me looks so narrow you can't fit through, but obviously you can. I'm just gonna go nice and slow and see if I can squeeze Alice through the arch. always interesting this bit ahead because there's this great big bridge and you've got to squeeze down the right hand side of it. Sometimes I bash the sides, sometimes I don't. So let's see what happens today. Well, just as I was saying about the, the tight bit underneath the bridge, boom, there was another boat coming in the opposite direction. Um, as normal, when you get to bridges, whoever's at the bridge first goes through. And he did realize that I was there first, but, and he sort of waited in the background. But it's just typical. I've not seen a boat all day, and then suddenly one at the really tight point. Just round the next corner there is quite a strong weir. Now when this river is in flood, it's extremely dangerous. Today it's perfectly calm, but I still need to keep on the towpath side.
that's my latest training. She goes round the back of me onto the other side of me. This is just typical. It's been bone dry all day. And now that I've come out for an evening walk with Molly and it's starting to rain, I haven't got my rain jacket on. So I'm just gonna head back to the boat. Oh dear. Really nice village though. Which is where I moored up for the night. Until next time, see you later.